best hope appears to be a plan laid out by Paul Volcker. Well, almost $7 million and counting. Coming up on Newsroom, we'll go up 30,000 feet to be exact. The second space tour is to visit the International Space Station, or the ISS. Nicholas has an idea of his own. Buy local. Gas pumps are running dry in some parts of the country, most of it due to a new EPA-mandated mix for summer gasoline. It's small cities like Macon dotting the country that help make up the fabric of America. Our own Kathy Nellis takes us behind the scenes to get the buzz behind the biz. And that festival lasts for two weeks, right, Michael, for folks to come down there and That's see it? That's correct. Actually, technically, yesterday was the peak day. The National Park Service is actually able to estimate when the peak days will be, and, and today was too, but again, today was a little colder, so there's not as many people out, and it's a great time to come down, and like Kelly said, grab a parking space and come on and take a walk. Excellent. Thanks so much. Michael McManus reporting from Washington. Breaking news. I just spoke with Captain Russell Webster. He's the group commander here at Woods Hole, Massachusetts, and he has confirmed to me that a piece of luggage has washed up on Sylvan Beach. Those police are stopping vehicles at all roads and bridges leading into the U.S. Capitol. The plane had taken off from Barnstable Municipal Airport and shortly thereafter uh, declared an emergency. The shock of the tragedy is already giving way to questions. Why, after the first incident, wasn't the university locked down? Why weren't many students notified of the shootings until almost two hours after the first shots were fired? And why did one person wake up Monday morning and decide to take so many lives? He made it very clear, he said, the president has mismanaged this war. And then the next sentence, he said, oh, and by the way, this is a war that I thought unnecessary many years ago. Among the findings, 40 million people worldwide have HIV or AIDS. And in the U.S., after years of decline, the number of new cases has neither increased nor dropped. Our Deanna Morosky spoke with one firefighter who proves that when bravery meets compassion, remarkable acts can occur. Then she began her own collection drives. As interest grew and word got out about her cause, donations like these poured in. Look closer behind each individual picture and you'll find some simple advice. Snowboarding is the fastest growing winter sport around. And as you're about to see, it wouldn't have come so far so fast if it wasn't for Mr. Jake Burton. That is, if it even makes it through Congress. The plan hasn't even reached Capitol Hill yet, and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are already calling for changes. Michael McManus, CNN, Washington. Regardless of war strategy now, it's the administration's Iraqi policies of the past three years that have partly resulted in the GOP freefall. But it's not the president up for re-election in two weeks, it's many Republicans in Congress. And they'll face voters who say Iraq is their number one issue. The fragile ceasefire continues, but many here in Israel do not forget why the conflict started in the first place. These signs have taken the place of advertisements. They've gone up all over the country, each one displaying a photo of one of the kidnapped soldiers and the translated inscription, bring our boys home. None of the kids were here when the bombs actually fell. I mean, this building is is virtually destroyed. This is technology that's on the exhibition floor today, but could be deployed onto the battlefield tomorrow. And there's nothing left to do now except sit back, relax here with my friend Toby, and enjoy the show.